Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Storytime with Teacher Andrea. I have chosen a story today that a friend lent to me a while back and I put away and I've actually just thought to myself tonight, oh, I've got those stories in the back. So I dug one out and this one I think you'll enjoy. It's actually similar to a fable that I just talked about in class today about the boy who cried wolf. It's not the same type of story, but there's some similarities, I think. So if you're familiar with that fable, maybe you can write in the comments below what similarities you can come up with between the boy who cried wolf and today's story, which is A Lion in the Meadow. So this is written by Margaret Mahi, pictures by Jenny Williams. A lion in the meadow. The little boy said, Mother, there is a lion in the meadow. The mother said, Nonsense, little boy. Can you see the lion? The little boy said, Mother, there is a big yellow lion in the meadow. The mother said, nonsense, little boy. Do any of your parents refer to you as little boy or little girl instead of by your names? It's interesting. The little boy said, mother, there is a big roaring yellow whiskery lion in the meadow. Looks like it to me. The mother said, little boy, you are making up stories again. There is nothing in the meadow but grass and trees. Go into the meadow and see for yourself. The little boy said, mother, I'm scared to go into the meadow because of the lion which is there. That makes sense, right? The mother said, little boy, you are making up stories. So I will make up a story too. Do you see this matchbox? Take it out into the meadow and open it. In it will be a tiny dragon. The tiny dragon will grow into a big dragon. It will chase the lion away. The little boy took the matchbox and went away. The mother went on peeling the potatoes. What do you think of mother's idea to make up her own story about a dragon? Do you think it will work? Suddenly the door opened. In rushed a big, roaring, yellow, whiskery lion. Hide me, it said. A dragon is after me. The lion hid in the broom cupboard. Then the little boy came running in. Mother, he said, that dragon grew too big. There is no lion in the meadow now. There's a dragon in the meadow. The little boy hid in the broom cupboard too. You should have left me alone, said the lion. I eat only apples. Vegetarian or fruit, fruitarian lion? Interesting. But there wasn't a real dragon, said the mother. It was just a story I made up. It turned out to be true after all, said the little boy. You should have looked in the matchbox, bought, <laughs> matchbox first. That's how it is, said the lion. Some stories are true and some aren't. But I have an idea. 
We will go and play in the meadow on the other side of the house. There's no dragon there. I'm glad we're friends now, said the little boy. The little boy and the big roaring yellow whiskery lion went to play in the other meadow. The dragon stayed where he was and nobody minded. The mother never ever made up a story again. So she learned her lesson. She did not want to come up with an idea that might actually become real. So that's a lion in the meadow. And do you agree that there are some similarities between that fable, the boy who cried wolf? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to keep up your daily reading. You should have at least 15 minutes free in your day to pick up a book. It can be fiction or nonfiction. It could be adventure, mystery, fantasy, uh, drama, poetry. It could be a biography, historical fiction, anything you like. As long as you read something every day, it's going to help your brain grow and give you lots of wonderful ideas. So until next time, I hope you're enjoying lots of books and lots of reading, and I look forward to hearing what you thought about tonight's story. Assalamu alaikum. Bye!